Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show how to plot a unit ramp function in Python. Uh, as we all know, unit ramp function is defined for n greater than or equal to 0. For n less than 0, it is completely 0, right? When n equal to 0, it is 0. When n equal to 1, it is 1. When n equal to 2, amplitude is 2. At n equal to 3, amplitude is 3, dot dot dot. It goes on till n equal to infinity. So we shall try to plot this unit ramp function in Python. Since we cannot reach minus infinity and plus infinity, we shall try to plot the signal from n starting from minus phi to plus phi. Uh, we will be using matplotlib library. So we shall import it. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Uh, we will create two lists. One is for independent variable n. And as I told you, n starts from minus phi, comma, minus 4, comma. Okay, this is the independent variable and r of n, r underscore n. We shall try to plot the dependent variable. Four amplitude is four, five amplitude is five. Okay, so these are the dependent and independent variable. Now we shall plot it. Plt dot stem stem is to plot discrete time sequence. Uh, first argument is x axis and x axis is independent variable n and the second argument is y axis and y axis is dependent variable r underscore n. Now if I go ahead and run it, I am getting an error saying that x and y must be of the same dimension. So I have this is at minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1. At n equal to 0, I should have one more 0. Now if I go ahead and run it, run it again, so I get to see the unit ramp function for n varying from minus phi to plus phi. So at n equal to 0, amplitude is 0. At n equal to 1, amplitude is 1. At n equal to 2, amplitude is 2 and so on. Okay. Now we shall uh, name the signal plt dot title. It's a unit ramp function. And we shall as well give title for x label uh, x axis and y axis x axis is n and y axis is plt dot y label r of n if i go ahead and run it so this is how the unit ramp function can be plotted in python and one last thing i want to say is why it is called as unit ramp function is because the slope of this signal is 1. So that's why it is called as unit ramp function. 